Right here at City Hall, the City Finance Division was a bit rushed presenting the budget, leaving many City Council members with unanswered questions, while others already had their minds made up. The mayor needs to go back to the drawing board. 45 minutes, that's all the director of finance had to present the mayor's budget and answer any questions. I don't know where it goes from here, but it needs a whole lot of work, and uh, it's pretty frustrating. I am concerned about the mayor's budget. That's because possible layoffs were mentioned, but no answer to which department would be hit. What's more frustrating, fuzzy math. The mayor says property taxes will stay the same, but council members see the numbers differently. I think there's a potential harmful impact to all the businesses in, in our community. We know that their appraisals went up this year. So when they say, oh, it's not a tax increase, it is a tax increase on them. Councilman Joe Brown ranted amongst his colleagues for voting against the mayor's budget. We about to screw government up. The process has to be fair. Councilman Brown says the budget presentation was rushed and many already had their minds made up. It's unfair to the citizens. It's unfair to some legislators. But I'll speak up and speak out. Tuesday night was just a small piece of what the council has to scrutinize over the $622 million budget for 2014. There are several more budget hearings to have everyone on the same page. The things that are said are not credible and some of the things are smoke and mirrors. We really need to go back to the drawing board. On Thursday, City Council will hear budget proposals from police, human resources, and other departments. Now keep in mind, city leaders need to approve a final budget by July 1st. Reporting live in downtown Memphis, Jackie Orozco, ABC 24 News.